Okay, so this is going to be a direct upload. No music, no edits, nothing. I want to talk today about one question I get all the time, and something that's really made me ponder my my life, really. The question is, is why are you in Japan? And I get these this question all the time, you know, not just from, like, Japanese people, from my friends or uh, other foreigners living here. And I think I'm going to address this question like this. When people ask me this, I mostly give them a really brief statement. I say them, tell them something like, oh, because I'm a quarter Japanese, or because I wanted to finish my bachelor's degree. And these things are true. It's just, I can't really, that's just merely scratching the surface. And sometimes people are very, you know, quick and they don't really care. And they're superficial to the point where they don't want to know more than that. Um, I've met several of these people here, but you'll meet several superficial people in any city. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make is, is that I'm a filmmaker. And one of the reasons that really brought me here to Japan was actually filmmaking, believe it or not. It was really like a thing I want. I want to come to. I want to go to Japan, and make a film. You know, make something that I I'd love to just create. You know, I want to make pictures, in very and all over the world. It's like Werner Herzog. Werner Herzog has been like one of my biggest inspirations for making my career, my life. If you watch his his uh, selection of movies, he's got tons. That are shot in many different countries. He was it Where the Green Ants Dream on Australia. Um, what is it? Grizzly Man in Alaska. Uh, several films in Africa, uh, Europe, all over the world. And I really, I really like his films. He's it's very art. I mean, he like he makes a lot of art films, not like big budget smash hit movies in the theater. But I really envy his life because he's made movies on every single continent. And a friend of mine told me he read his biography that he said that he came to Japan at one time. And he said he gave up. He just said it's impossible to shoot here. Now, my idea is just that too many people give up and just like just give up and don't try to shoot here because it's it literally is a pain in the ass to shoot here. But I can say this: it is a guerrilla filmmaker's heaven. It's just if you lo if you're good with guerrilla filmmaking, then it's the perfect place for you. But there's all these rules and exceptions, and all these other things you'll just have to get used to. But I think, in a way, it'll be really rewarding for me to actually make a film in Japan. And back to the whole idea is about why I came here originally. Is is that. I had these ideas brewing in my mind back home of making films overseas, especially in Japan. And there's like a certain ideas that I, I just want to, you know, do. Just like live in this moment. These like sort of emotions and study and write and actually put energy and effort into these projects. I really am... Something that really inspires me. Like another friend of mine, Ari Bach, who's another filmmaker in Colorado, he, he made a film on religion called Day of the Beast. And part of him wanted to study, like, religion, to understand this film. And he went, I can't, I can't even remember, he, like, became a Catholic, and then he became uh, a Christian, then an evangelical Christian, and a born-again Christian, and then a, a Mormon, and then a Satanist, and he, he, be, he did every single religion you could do, possibly. I'm not sure if he became a Scientologist or not, but no, I don't think you can leave that church. Um, but anyway, um, he wanted to get as much information as he could, get close to the source as possible. And that's sort of why I'm in Japan, I'd really have to say, you know, because I really want to learn the language, I want to learn maybe some of my heritage, maybe some of uh, cultural aspects of film that I've seen in uh, Japanese film back in America, and things like that. And it's it are these things that really inspire me, that bring me to what I really love about Japanese culture is, is that I really want to make films here because it, it inspires me. So that's just my two cents on what's why I'm here in Japan.